damage roll tips to get you the win. This video will be going over DPS tips and we will be using Cassidy McCree as the damage hero example. These tips also got me out of gold and they also helped me win games and 1v1s. So what are the advantages of your hero in 1v1s and teamfights? For example, Cassidy in teamfights and 1v1s will always have some sort of range advantage at medium range or further duels. Focus on landing your shots and when it would be best to throw your e-grenade or roll. Usually you want to roll if the enemy gets super close to you or if you need to reload your gun as your roll reloads your gun and also gives you damage reduction. So for your hero you'd want to readjust everything for your hero's ability and range or tracer you'd want to think about when to blink or recall and her range would be close range you'd also want to think about beneficial combos for example with cassidy you can use your grenade and combo it with your roll so throwing your grenade before you roll will basically cancel your grenade throwing animation in basic terms you want to be thinking about how to best use your abilities and when to use your abilities in certain situations. So let's take Cassidy's roll damage reduction for example. You'd want to be using this ability on big damage things like Pharaoh ult or when you're super low. Again you want to use this concept on your hero so for Tracer you want to save one of your blinks or maybe even two of your blinks to combo them with your ult so you can blink ult and then E out. However, always remember some heroes can outplay your abilities. So for Cassidy Grenade, you have the Genji Deflect Counter, Repo Shadow, and Tracer Blinks or E. Range and spacing. We slightly touched on range and spacing, but it is very important on all champions. You'd want to always be playing at your most optimal range. For example, this is very important on Cassidy as he has fall off damage, meaning being too far won't give you the most optimal damage. And at the same time, you don't want to be too close as you make it easier for the enemy to collapse onto you. With this taken into consideration, be on the front line with caution or better yet, don't be on the front line at all, especially when the enemy has all five alive. If you are looking to finalize a kill, just remember if the enemy enemy has all five alive even if you get that kill the enemy can still get a trade kill back especially when you're pushed up and out of position and your healers have to come and help heal you high ground is also good for most damage heroes especially when you have your ult or if the payload or objective is nearby the high ground area Moving on to kill damage combos, always remember your kill damage combos and again for example we have Cassidy, Cassidy headshots do a lot more damage so in terms of your kill damage combos one of them would be a headshot plus two body shots is a kill and that would be at most ranges, another one would be a close range shot plus a grenade hit with a headshot would be another kill and so on and so on. Now onto your ultimate, always remember you don't have to get kills with it, a lot of people think that you must get at least one kill with it, which is fine, but making enemies burn abilities is just as fine. Also know all aspects of the ultimate. It's no surprise here, let's take Cassidy's ultimate Deadeye for example. His ult gives damage reduction and also reloads your gun. So in a do or die situation, this is very beneficial. One example can be where one of your allies has already died and so it's a 4v5 and you're in a team fight where you're about to die and you need ammo. Here use Deadeye for a chance to take reduced damage and continue to live while having extra shots to surprise the enemy with. Also, is there different ways to use your ultimate? So sometimes with Cassidy, you can full hold Deadeye so that enemies will be out of the way longer or hiding longer and your team can get more objective time in this situation or push up. That's going to wrap up the video in terms of tips and tricks. Hopefully some of them helped. If they did, leave it in the comments, leave a like and see you next time.